Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video today here to play around with this deck right here, which I've called Guardians of the Galaxy because it uses a whole bunch of the Guardians of the Galaxy guys, but really it's a Daredevil control type of deck. This deck would not be possible if it was not for Daredevil, so what's the basic thing about this, de this deck? It's basically you want to take control of the entire board and kind of focus it. Daredevil helps a whole bunch because he basically gives you a free turn five. As we see here, we have Mantis, Rocket, oops, uh, Star Lord, Groot, Wong, Shang Chi, Drax, Enchantress, Magic, Gamora, and Odin. Uh, the basic thing thing here is to always keep your opponent guessing as to what you're going to do. You could drop a Guardian of the Galaxy guy, but it's also just as likely for you to drop anything else. Daredevil helps you kind of control the game, know what level, what kind of things to play on and stuff like that. And yeah, that's the basics of the deck. Some other cards that you can actually use in here, which helps a whole bunch. Um, funny enough, the one that helps a whole bunch is actually Professor X. Especially with Daredevil, Professor X and Daredevil are a powerful combo because you can just know where you can lock down a location and then you'll know for a fact you're going to win it. Um, Captain Marvel could also help in theory, uh, but I really like having magic for my turn 5 or sooner. And I like having Enchantress there because Enchantress can just beat most ongoing decks by herself. So there you go. And Odin can of, course, can of course trigger the effects of all the Guardians that wherever he may land. I did run Beast in theory to keep doing it but i think odin is just a better play um also because oh you can't run odin and beast in the same deck because <laughs> odin will trigger beast again and then beast will lose you the game <laughs> as you return everything back to your hand but i digress so we're gonna jump in here as you can see here i am 49 i went on the sickest losing streak after listening to d3 and playing an agatha deck and i'm still making my way up there so we'll see if we can go so let's see uh, great, we start with District X, both of our completely random, so let's see how this goes out for us. The only Guardian cards we have are Drax and Star-Lord, and this guy started with Hood, so this entire game is going to be decided by some real random bullshit. Oh, of course, we had Domino. Of course. Boom, District X. Let's go. Nova. So that's, he's getting, so this guy was running a Destruction deck. It's going to depend on if he had Destroyer or not. I uh, guess we'll find out. I have Carnage. I'm gonna play him here. Because I have a feeling he's gonna play something here. But we'll see. If it fails, then I can just play Carnage. Hellcow, absolutely useless in this deck. Perfect. Thank you for the drop. So if it fails, the good thing here is that I have Carnage. So we can just clean up. The reason I didn't play anything is in case I get Galactus. Because <laughs> I think it'd be funny if I got Galactus. Alright. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good one to get. I'll gladly take magic. We're gonna have a game seven, boys. Double Wong. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think I could actually use this for effective, for effective measures. Mm, but just to be sure, I am gonna put Wong right here, and we'll go from here. Currently, there's no reason for me to play anything over here just yet. Oh, there's no way he knew. Zero way he knew. Okay, so now we're going to change it up we're gonna put oh actually I can put hell cow oh it actually works his on reveal effect won't activate okay perfect yep 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 All right, we're now on turn six. So let's see if he's gonna do anything big. I can go here pretty easily. So my own reveal effect. I really don't wanna risk it and put something there, so I'm just gonna put an abomination here. Also, I have a feeling he has like a really good six play, which is why he did that. Really? Okay. I take back saying that he had a potentially a good six play. Mm, okay, <laughs> now it's over. <laughs> Viper is really good actually, but it looks like he didn't actually draw anything worthwhile having. So I'll take that victory, thank you very much. Alright, District X. I know a lot of the time you want to kind of, a lot of people I think just auto forfeit when they get District X, but you should honestly just play it out. Because you never know who's going to use their assortment of cards better or worse. Okay, 
not the greatest opening hand, but it can potentially be a very good late game. Ooh, they got a fancy ass Electra. Oh, that's gonna be killer for us. Really, you place them there out of all places. That'll help us on turn five. If he plays anything on Karmataj on turn five, then he's gonna get cooked. I have to do this. He's never gonna want to put anything on Karmataj now. Is this an Agatha deck? Let's see what he plays, huh? He honestly wins the Wrath if he's smart. Ah, it's an Iron Man, huh? I think I'll go here. I am. It's a very weird strategy, which makes me think it's Agatha. Because Agatha also plays very... weird. Is, I guess, a nice way of putting it. Final turn. Okay, uh, let's see. I actually kind of want to go here. I'm going to go here. Hmm. I'm basically losing the raft. So I think... Go here and then here. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Didn't matter. They were kind of in a bad spot because... I don't know what happened there. They had to have been playing Agatha. I refuse to believe it was anything else but Agatha. I've played enough Agatha to know when Agatha looks funky, and that looked funky to me. Alright, let's go in again. 007. Okay. Can't be destroyed. That's pretty nice. Mmm. Two drop, Star Lord. Oops. Saw the to be released thing there for a second. It's alright. I misclicked. My finger slipped. Oh, this one's actually going to be kind of tough. Thank you. Please discard the good one. No, he didn't discard the good one. Hmm, I think I'll go here. Hmm, that's fine with me. I mean, it's not fine, but it's better than nothing. Ooh. So... I'm gonna make him not want to play in Stark Tower the second I put Wong down. Funny enough, I've kind of not bricked, but my hand is not the greatest at the moment. Oh, I forgot about Wakanda. Wakanda does make this a little bit tougher. Eh? Okay. I'm not one to judge. I'll go here. What is he doing? Because he can't pull... Whatever he's playing, he's going to get the strongest thing from Forge. So he can no longer get him with Doctor Strange. Which is what this entire deck wants to do. I didn't play anything there, my guy. I didn't want to play anything there. But now we're going to see what he plays. And I have a feeling he was setting up for a Professor X play. Rock Slide. That should be enough to win me this basic slide. I don't know what the hell this guy's deck is either, to be honest. All systems go. Final turn. <laughs> Honestly, not the greatest hand. Let's see. <sighs> if he plays. I think I go here. I'm gonna play one of these guys, so I'm thinking I'm gonna play Drax here. But if I, he plays a single dude here, then I win. I lose, I mean. If he plays a single guy here, I lose, so. Yeah, that's a shame. 
I might lose this one, but I'm gonna play it out. It's kind of a situation where he either goes hard for Sokov, or he goes for Stark Tower, but he knows I'm playing Guardian cards and I have Wong, so I would be able to win there. So it's literally just a mind game now. We'll see. I think it's a 50-50 chance. Like most things in Marvel Snap, it comes down to a 50-50. And I don't mind losing two cubes over this. It's perfectly fine with me. I'm gonna play my guy. Heimdall would be the most. But then I could always take Wakanda, but we'll see. Oh, I should have played Odin, actually. Damn, he went for the other one. Should have put something in Wong. Oh, that's fine. I wonder why he didn't ready up until the very end. Maybe at that entire time he was waiting for me to snap to see if he would retreat or something. But I don't know. I should have played it with Wong. It would have made more sense. But I didn't feel confident without having one or two of the Guardian cards in my hand. Uh, this one's alright. This is an okay hand. Do I risk it for the biscuit with Rocket? Let's go for it. Most people don't actually play anything turn one, but we'll see if he's one of the players that does. I guess he was. Hey, Agent 13. Okay. Shuffle five rocks. <laughs> Great, thank you. I see no reason why not to put a rock here. That's nice. I'm gonna put Drax here. So in theory, he really doesn't need to play anything anymore. But I think I'm gonna go here. All right, just to get some more coverage in other places. He's gonna steal some of my cards, it's perfectly fine. Because I have a bunch of rocks in the deck. He could've just easily have stolen a rock. I'll go here. And for the hell of it, I'll also put him here. That way he'll have to either commit more to not playing cards or play weaker cards just to be able to beat it. But we'll see what he does. We'll see what you do, Mr. Hrupek. It's definitely... The, the smart thing is to just not play anything. But I think in turn four, I don't think he's going to be doing that. It's a goblin. It's a devil dinosaur. What? What are you doing, friend? Well, I'm winning in that location now. So he's probably not going to play anything. Which makes me feel like... I might have lost this one already. Because he just simply has to not play- Oh! Thank you. Thank you so much for playing. Yeah, and that's enough to get tied over there, but not enough to win. Let me see, I think I'm gonna go here. Here. You replace something or replace nothing. He chose to run away instead. <laughs> Thank God. I would have lost that one for sure. Man! I would not have expected to win so many, but so many of them are from people just like not not playing it out. You should really play it out. You never know. All right, next. But I guess we're at the point where the people are just scared. I mean, I'll put Rocket here regardless. He replaces something on turn one or he doesn't. Either one is fine with me. That's perfectly fine with me. Oh, I was about to say, please don't hit magic. Magic is the way they change her. You can't play her on turn six at all. So they should have just made it so her effect only works on turn six. <laughs> that would be much better than making her completely unplayable. But hey, uh, this guy's smart. He's filling up his board now. Uh, so, oh, ooh, that's not great. Oh, it's funny though. So, I'm gonna play Groot here. Nope. Ebony Maw. 
I really wish we knew where it would swap to, but we don't. So he's not going to be able to play anything there, so I'm going to keep going here. Yeah, I'm going to keep going here. It's fine with me. So now I bet he's probably thinking, I'm about to completely sweep it up here. He's going to play a bunch of cards. But it's not going to matter, because I'm going to remove Stark Tower completely. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yep, goodbye to that. Sure. So I just need to have something just slightly be more... Hmm... Okay, let's see what we got here. So I think I'm gonna go here just because it's a big play. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see, honestly. This guy has no idea. <laughs> Oh, poor Onslaught deck. He's about to get completely... Debris, that's fine. Actually, he might actually win this now. Because of that. We'll see. Down they go. Down they go. Down they go. <laughs> Down they go! Perfect. Hey. You should really be running Enchantress in your deck. Give him a little thumbs up. See how he feels about that. Oh man, and I'm back in 50. Perfect. All right, we'll do one more game. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, some more gold. If you're wondering where my gold went, um, I bought the uh, the Miles Morales dunk card. And that's where all my points went to. All right, let's go in. Final one. That was a good one, though. I should have ended on that one, but we'll end on this one. <laughs> Enchantress can completely ruin the deck of uh, any Onslaught deck. It's really just auto-include if you're not running very many ongoing. Ooh, I'll go here. Again, your best bet is to just play in the first slot and see what happens. If they don't play in the first slot, that means they're playing too many big Mega Mind games, but it's fine. Sure. Oh, is this the same guy? Let's go. Where's my fist bump? There it is, okay. Yeah, it is the same guy. That's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> I stole his Intantras! That works for me perfectly. Oh man, this is just cruel. I'll play Groot here. Because he's not going to play anything in Lechunga. That's fine with me. Because again, I have Shang-Chi, so if he tries to just not play, it's not really a problem for me. I have Wong. Do I want to shuffle three rocks into the deck, though? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. I'll play you here. I really don't think he plays anything over there. We'll see. There's no reason to. Mmm, that's slightly tougher. Yeah, here's the main problem with the deck. You really need to kind of be on a different wavelength to actually get them. Let me see here. I'll go here. And I'll say screw it. We're deep enough that I don't care. I either win or lose next turn. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Uh, shoot. Mm. 
Damn it, I really needed this guy to be just slightly more powerful. I think he ends up winning this one, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, eight. Yeah, I need... Oh, damn it, that stupid scorpion actually came into play. And it completely screwed me over. Mm. Yeah, this is also at the end of each turn, gain plus one spend energy, but it's not happening this time. So, let's see, he would go first. Man, he's really got me. He's really got my number on this one. Yeah, unfortunately none of these other effects activate. Damn, by literally one. Alright, let me give him a... I got beat. It's a fair point. Unfortunately, that literally that scorpion play at the beginning completely screwed me over. God, scorpion is such an annoying card. Because he ends up being much better than he thinks. I'm going to go for one more. I don't want to lose, I'll lose. That after losing eight and going back down. Right, let's go again. Okay. Perfect. I have Daredevil, which is what I want. Oh, that makes it so obvious that things are going to be going right here. We gotta show him that I don't want it. Oh, that sucks. That actually super sucks, because my hand... Oh, I'm going to lose so much fucking card advantage over this. That's annoying. Okay. Yeah, then our entire hands get shuffled back in there. And then I finally draw one I would actually want, which is Drax. So either he plays something here, or we tie and no one wins the two draw. We'll see what happens. Eight cards in deck, seven cards in deck. He has one more funny enough than me. What do you have four? Never mind. All right, we're even then. Damn it! <laughs> we're not even. Oh, we're losing this one so bad. Uh, I feel like just giving up to be 100% real. Did you fix it to where it doesn't activate anymore? Sure didn't. Uh, yeah, I think I lose this one. We'll see what he activates. I'll go here. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so if I put Groot here. I potentially win. No. The Thor's gonna be real strong. I don't think I win. So I think I'm gonna have to retreat. Uh, actually, screw it. We'll just end it on this. Mjolnir activates. You know what would be really nice? That Shang-Chi that did not die from Yondu. Would have really saved the day here if I had him. But no, he was removed from the deck. You can't do anything with leader there. No, I just lose overall. Damn, one more. <laughs> one more for real. I didn't count because that guy was using leader. So yeah, that's the one thing about this deck is that this deck uses one of each card type. And if you just draw bad, like I got screwed over by the draw, you're just not going to have a very good time. You kind of want to make a lot of your plays near the end of the game. Ooh, Karmatage. I'll play Madness here and, s and suss it out. Oh, that's great. You'll love to see it. There we go. Draws death. Doesn't have that anymore. Draw Forge! Wow! So that means whatever I draw next. Hey, guess what? It's getting four power. <laughs> That's just silly.
I mean, it may as well. I don't see a reason not to. I mean, you can even go here or Stark Tower, and either one of them is fine with me. Yeah, it makes sense. Oof. There goes them, but that's fine with me. That makes death just that much better. Turn four. I think I'll go... Here. If he's smart, he would completely avoid playing on the on the Karmatage. He's not smart. Two level sixes, huh? Okay. Uh let's see if I can bait him out. I mean, I should play something here, just so there's a, actually a card here so I can win it, potentially. Oh, that works for me. You love having a death target. All systems go. Perfect. All systems are go. And I think this is it for him. Damn. Shang-Chi will completely screw me over on here. But I don't think he has anything for a follow-up to Venom. But then I win or lose the other one, so he has to play something, so... I'll go here. And he gets to reveal first, which is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I just win this one. <laughs> done. 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 There we go. Now I can end it on an actual win. I should have ended it on the 8-1, but what can you do? That's the end of the video, everyone. That's the Guardians of the Galaxy slash Daredevil deck. There is a better Daredevil deck, but I need Destroyer to actually get him. Oh, wait, let me see if I have enough for Destroyer. And by enough, I mean an X for the next upgradable thing. Oh, of course, none of these are flashing for some reason. I'll look at it off screen. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Peace out.